This really hits home. Heavy hearts across the country tonight following an act of evil at an elementary school. The death toll continues to climb after a gunman went on a rampage in Uvalde. We know 19 children and two adults have been killed in today's mass shooting. Just eight months ago, in March of 2022, my son Max was 10 years old. We had spent part of spring break in Concan, 20 miles from Uvalde, Texas, where we drove for supplies. A week later, we're back in San Antonio when the world learned about the 19 Robb Elementary School students and two teachers who were senselessly murdered by an 18-year-old former student. In all, he left 21 innocent, lifeless bodies, wounded 17 more, and destroyed the lives of countless others forever. One of the 10-year-old girls survived by covering herself in her classmates' blood and pretending to be dead. Let that sink in for a moment. Max hears about the massacre and says, Dad, I don't feel safe going back to school. What if someone comes and shoots me in school? Every day, 22 children under the age of 17 are shot in the United States. We need a shift. As adults, we need to step up to protect our kids. We should set the example by not spreading or tolerating hate. Gun violence is largely a preventable public problem. Through sensible and enforceable gun laws, anger management intervention and treatment, public education on situational awareness, improved reporting channels, and a societal mindset shift towards empathy and unity, perhaps we can turn the tide on this tsunami of fatal hatred. As communities reel from the terrible tragedies at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, a supermarket in Buffalo, an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs, a 4th of July parade near Chicago, and a medical facility in Tulsa, 2022 has already seen more than 600 mass shootings, defined as three or more victims. This year is well on the way to recording the most murders from mass shootings. We must change this culture. We should be able to send our kids to school, pray in houses of worship, shop at stores, and walk through neighborhoods without being shot. Today, as I reflect on the memorials I'm visiting, my vow is to take action in the memory of those who died and do what I can to prevent these atrocities from happening again. God bless America. We need it.